quick announcement before I start my videos. I just wanted to mention that I am still selling merch. My merch would make pretty good Christmas gifts, by the way, if you didn't already know. Or if you just want to buy it for your own self, then yeah, honestly, that's, that's great too. I might just have to buy some for my own self. I feel like I want my own design on my own hoodie. You know I'd be wearing that. You know I would. So buy my merch if you haven't already. I just want to kind of announce it since I don't always announce it in every video. I'll leave a link in my pinned comment section if you are interested, but anyways, let's get on with the video. Hey Lemans, welcome back to another video of mine. So today is going to be a deeper video on an issue and current ongoing discussion in Animal Jam. Jammers literally kept commenting this thing on each of my videos, so much so that I eventually came to the decision to just make a whole video on it. I really don't know how I feel in this situation, so this video isn't meant to be any sort of hate or defending reasons for Animal Jam and Wild Works. I'm kind of against the issue, but also in understanding of it too. So please no hating on anyone in the comments and please try to be respectful of others' opinions. I just thought that I would discuss the problem and what is going on why Wildworks is doing this and what they are doing, and some other information as well. What is Animal Jam and Wildworks doing, you might ask? We will get to that very soon. It's definitely a lot, so with that all in mind, I'm Liam Puppy, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started with the video. So as I was saying just a bit before, what is Animal Jam and Wildworks even doing? Is it wrong? Is it bad? Well, we will talk about that all, and you can kind of try to get a feel for things. Basically, Wildworks has been money hungry lately, which means that they are doing everything in their power to get as much money as they can. We don't really know what their reasons are either. It's possible that the game Animal Jam isn't making enough money. Like, I mean, we already know that their other game, Feral, hasn't been doing well. So if Animal Jam was doing bad too, then they are really hooped since that's a huge game in their company's position. They dropped a ton of money onto Feral and apparently didn't even make it all back. That can really hurt a company. They are likely not worth as much money as what they used to be. And with all these things happening, you could kind of see why they're needing to make more money. Which could be why they're becoming more money hungry on the games and apps they are creating. Animal Jam Mobile is a good example of this. Lately, they have been adding features that make you need to pay sapphires, such as paying sapphires to level up your pets. We did not need that feature at all. We are fully able to level up our pets with time and effort. It feels more worthless to just try to level them up now. Knowing I and anyone else in the game could level up their pets with sapphires, it was a bad idea to make that a sapphire paying feature. And you really have to ask why Animal Jam would decide to do that. They need to make money. Another thing people talk about is how the price for the pet dinosaur eggs was too expensive. Now, I kind of have to argue both sides for this one. I do agree that they are pretty darn overpriced for pets, let alone playable animals, as that's what they become by involving. So many jammers could not afford one due to how much they cost, which is 250 sapphires for anyone wondering. And well, that's just it. They are more sapphires than a pet or a regular animal that you can play as, which is why so many jammers were upset. But they are also a very special thing brought into Animal Jam. Never before have we gone dinosaurs. And on top of that, we even got a new dinosaur land for them too. Only dinosaurs can go to the dino land. When you become them, either playing as your pet or you involved it, you can finally go to the dinosaur land, which is super cool. They have so many awesome things there. It is worth it. And I would even say that it's worth the price, but I still understand where jammers are coming from when they say it's expensive because they are and Animal Jam and Wildworks are very smart to do this. They made it so spending that amount of sapphires seems justified. And so, so many jammers ended up spending their sapphires on those dinosaur eggs. It did seem like a lot of sapphires, we knew this, but it was so exciting that we didn't want to pass down the opportunity to get our paws on these eggs. I assume this helped Wildworks a bit with their money issue, although it probably wasn't nearly enough. Like I said, they wasted a ton of money on Feral, a game that didn't really take off that much. So, so many of its players are just jammers from Animal Jam, and that couldn't really have been too many due to how it was for older people, and not too many of their players weren't aware or related to Animal Jam's game in any way, so that makes sense why it never really did too well. And by the way, if you like Feral, that's great! I'm just explaining why it didn't really become popular or do that well. Wildworks had games that didn't take off, but they also had ones that really did do well. 
And that's what typically happens in a video game company. Not all your games are going to be the best sellers. You don't know how the public will perceive of them. Those are the struggles many developing companies have to deal with while creating games and contents for their audiences. Animal Jam obviously was one of their games that did very good from the start. It still is doing well, even though they moved over to working on mobile more than classic. It's still Animal Jam, and I'm happy for Wildworks, but recently they've been adding way, way more sapphire paint features, and it just doesn't sit right with me. Yeah, I get why they are probably doing it, but it still makes me upset. That's not what Animal Jam is about. It's about the awesome community and people. People are going as far to say that Animal Jam is becoming a pay-to-win game, and I'd have to agree with that completely. That's another thing I wanted to talk about in this discussion of mine. The pay-to-win concept and how it connects to Animal Jam. Obviously, Animal Jam has been making so many of its new features Sapphire related, being the dinosaur eggs, leveling up your pets, the my shops, membership, and so much more. You feel like you need to pay just to win or be the best on the game, which I never felt like that in the past. It was more of a rarity system where you would have to be playing the game for a long time to be rare and have cool stuff, or at least be trading for a while. Now it's all about how many sapphires you have on the game, because sapphires can get you so, so many things on Animal Jam. You can basically just buy rare items from the my shops now with your sapphires. And the sapphires are also being used for many various features that I've been talking about. I'm sure there are people out there that would prefer to have lots of sapphires over lots of rares. Like, it's kind of coming to that point now. Honestly, I'm just realizing how much a ripoff it is to buy sapphires in Animal Jam. I have so many that I don't even need to buy them anymore, and I haven't in a year or more so, but like, it's almost $3 for 100 sapphires. And that can't even get you a playable animal, you need like 50 more sapphires to afford that. I think those have always been the prices for sapphires, but it's kind of a ripoff and I don't think I would pay for that anymore. To get 650 sapphires, you have to pay $14, and I was looking carefully at the prices in the area where you have to buy them, and I saw something rather interesting that I just wanted to point out. If you click on them, they pull up a list of the things the sapphires can be used on. I have never seen this. I don't think they used to have this when I played and bought sapphires. For some reason, my first thought was that you also received these things in the list as well. Then I realized that it was just doing that to make me think that it's somehow a better deal and make me buy it more. I don't know if I'm the only person who doesn't like this list that they included while you're buying sapphires, but it just feels like weird and forced. Like, I know what kind of things I'm gonna buy of sapphires. Why do you think I'm trying to buy them? Another thing is that apparently they increased the price for buying membership with sapphires. Someone left me a comment on my video about that recently and how they had to pay way more than what it used to be priced at. I'm actually unsure if this is true or not since my membership hasn't expired quite yet, but they said that it went up to being 700 sapphires and it used to be 400. That's terrible and super obvious on Animal Jam's part. We can see what you're trying to do. You can't hide. Although even after hearing about all these sapphire related features and sapphire tactics that Animal Jam and Wildworks is using, Animal Jam does sometimes do some good things for jammers without sapphires as well. Like how they brought back some of the sapphire animals for regular gems, which are easy to earn by the way, you can play a game or something. You do not have to purchase gems with your money. You can now get a fox, a panda, or a tiger, which is really nice to the players who don't like paying for the sapphires. And I feel like it should be recognized that Animal Jam put this in, so I am glad that Animal Jam does do the occasional good thing for non-members and jammers who don't like to buy the sapphires. As for, it's possible many of them can't afford paying for sapphires as they are just kids, and their parents maybe don't want to buy in-game sapphires, which honestly, my mom never really let me. I had to buy sapphires on my own means. I remember I got a paper route back in the day just to make enough money to pay for Animal Jam. It's kind of sad saying that out loud, but now I, uh... I have way too many sapphires. Either way, it's nice to know that they at least have some neat things on Animal Jam for jammers who don't buy things, but I also still do think some of the sapphire features and prices are a bit too much on their part, and their recent tactics are very obvious and money hungry, and many jammers in the community have been aware of this as well, so I thought I would try to discuss it all in a video. I scripted the whole vid, I'm not really sure if you guys could tell or not. I have been making many unscripted videos since they are easier for me to make with my limited free time with school and everything, but this topic just felt more important to me, so I wanted to make it a full scripted discussion. And I didn't cover the recent Cinder NFT app game that Wildworks is creating, yes, I am aware of it. It's due to how I wanted to keep this video Animal Jam related for the most being. But anyways, what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Wildworks and Animal Jam are money hungry? Are they bringing too many pay to win features to the game? 
Let me know down below in the comment section as I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. It's been Lane Puppy. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys all next time.